The U.S. Department of Agriculture says farm income will drop in 2014. Artists last year net farm income peaked at its highest point in 30 years. Now the USDA says it will drop substantially, even though a record corn crop and a large soybean crop are predicted for this year. The farm economy is still strong financially, but big crops often lead to oversupplies and lower prices. Net farm income is forecast to fall nearly 27 percent this year to $95.8 billion. That would still be above the 10-year average. The 2013 income level was $130.5 billion, the highest since 1973 when adjusted for inflation. If realized, this would be the smallest income level since 2010. The decline is attributed primarily to sharply lower crop cash receipts for both corn and soybeans. At 13.9 billion bushels, the 2013 corn crop was the largest in history, which contributed to lower prices. USDA is calling for $11 billion less in corn receipts this year and $6 billion less in soybean sales. All right, I'm about to start signing. Another factor in the government's estimates is the elimination of direct payments under the recently enacted Farm Bill of 2014. Also at issue is the uncertainty regarding enrollment and payments in other programs this year, which could reduce government disbursements by 45 percent. Traditionally, input costs have paralleled growth in market price for grain. However, this year, total production expenses are forecast to decline $3.9 billion in 2014. If realized, that would only be the second time in a decade that has occurred. The growth rate in farm assets, debt and equity also is projected to slow in 2014 compared to recent years. Lower net income, higher borrowing costs and moderation in the growth of farmland values are all contributing factors to the prognosis. The value of farm assets and farm sector debt both are expected to rise just over 2% in 2014. That's counter to the last few years. However, USDA says the historically low levels of debt to asset levels and equity affirm the agricultural sector's strong financial position. Another bright spot in the disappointing outlook could be found in the livestock sector, where receipts are expected to rise seven-tenths of a point, largely due to a 7% increase in dairy earnings. While net farm income will drop this year, when you adjust for inflation, it will still be the seventh highest year since 1973.